So we've had a fantastic day on the Trenton Mersey Canal, haven't we, Matt? And we've actually winkled out a Xander or two. Yep. Um, what, what got you into fishing? I don't really think I had any choice, Jack. You know, I come from a fishing family. Both of my grandfathers fished. My dad, my uncle. And when I was a little boy, they used to take me away on the, on the buses that the match anglers used to catch every weekend to go off and fish a match somewhere in the Midlands. And they were great days, really. You know, for the guys that worked in the factories and in the industrial Midlands at the time, that weekend fishing match was their piece of escapism. Yeah. And we travelled far and wide, and they were great days. I, I miss them in some ways. Fishing's changed a lot <laughs> since then. And I suppose people would have seen loads of your programmes. I mean, what was your kind of your, your break, I suppose? What got you into angling TV? It was all by accident. Um, I mean, I had a normal sort of, well, I had a good job actually, um, with a lot of responsibility and fishing was my hobby, just something I'd always been very keen on and loved very much. And then one day a guy asked me to make a, a fishing video with him, that's how long ago it was. <laughs> and I said, what's the point in that? No one knows who I am. And he said, ah, oh, but they will, they will. <laughs> and um, anyway, I, I made a couple of fishing videos. They got noticed by Angling Times. And then Discovery Television came knocking and um, so started a, a glorious downward spiral. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching Total Fishing, God, I, I won't say too many years ago, but a few years ago, and yeah, I used to really enjoy watching all those. Um, I mean, I suppose, because you fish for everything as well, which is, I suppose, almost rare now in a lot of anglers, they just stick with one species. But if you had to have one species to fish for, what would it be? I think I'll surprise a lot of people by saying brown trout. Oh, right. But I think that's largely because I've pretty mu I have pretty much fished for everything. And uh, these days, I like the challenge and the skill of fishing. And um, I feel that dry fly fishing for really difficult wild, and I don't mean stocked, stock trout are not a challenge. Wild trout are a challenge. And big wild brown trout on the fly are just about the pinnacle of the sport. They test every aspect of your angling ability, your ability to cast and to present the fly, your ability to understand what's going on in nature, the moods of the fish, to approach them stealthily and quietly without spooking them. And if you're after wild fish, you have to study entomology. You need to understand the life cycle of the insects in the water that you're fishing and at what stage of the hatch the fish are feeding. And it's such a complicated puzzle. Yeah. I'll never get fully to the bottom of it, <laughs> but it really does absorb me. And it is the ultimate test of skill. And by comparison, certain techniques, which I've really enjoyed, you know, bottom fishing for things like carp and catfish, they're a doddle in yeah. skill terms compared to that. So you do tend to gravitate towards the, the, the toughest challenge. So I suppose if I say what, what method you like, I'll... I don't, probably don't need to guess, but I mean, have you got a favourite method? Or I have, it's, I have, it's, it's dry fly fishing, but you know, um, I fish all the year round and most of the dry fly fishing is concentrated during the summer months um, and I'm lucky enough to spend the summers in Norway, so I'm a bit spoiled, <laughs> but that's not so I don't enjoy the other stuff. I do, I still love my winter chub fishing, yeah. fishing on small streams with simple ledger tackle and bread. I love lure fishing. Um, light lure fishing especially with ultralight jigs and small spinners and plugs fishing for pike and zander and perch. Um, I love fly fishing for pike. Um, that yeah. gives me a big buzz. I like barbel. I like it all. You, like I like it. <laughs> you can't choose one. No. And have you got a venue in the UK that you've not fished yet which you'd like to? I would say species but I'm, I mean after the Great Rod Race you've had them all anyway. But <sighs> That's a good question. Um, there is a place it's not in the UK, it's in Ireland, right. so it's close, yeah. I guess. Um, I would love to go to Loch Curran in the west of Ireland, okay. where the sea trout fishing is really good. In the UK, actually, thinking about it, it is a long, unfulfilled ambition to go to the very north, to the Scottish Highlands, yeah. and fish up there. Um, of course, I'm in Norway in the summer, and so I've missed out on that. Yeah. But one day, I will go. <laughs> Fantastic. And have you got any upcoming projects or anything coming out soon? Well, I have. I think it's going to be quite a busy year for me. Um, there's one project I've got planned that I can't talk to you about, because I have to kill you. <laughs> um, but hopefully the news of that will come out soon. And in the um, autumn, I'm off to Canada 
um, for a new series, The Great Rod Race. Oh, brilliant. Um, so we're traveling across Canada, fishing for all sorts of fish. I'm hoping to cross one off my bucket list, which is quite short now, but it's a muskie. So they're the big, uh, big pike, aren't they? All pike family. I they are yeah. pike family, and uh, they're amazing-looking things. I've long, long coveted one, and now's my chance. Well, good luck, and thanks for coming along today, Matt. It's been a pleasure to meet it's you. It's a pleasure, and I hope it goes really yeah. well for you, son. Cheers, thank you. Well done.